In this video, I will show you how to add a timestamp in your YouTube video. And if this video does help you out today, then please consider dropping down below, liking the video, and also consider subscribing to the channel. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is I'm currently at my youtube.com. Now to add a timestamp, you actually need to add this into your video description. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come across to one of my videos and I'm going to edit this into the video description so you can see exactly how to do this. So here I am, I'm currently in my video description and what you're going to need to do is input this in the following format. So what you would need to do first is put something like timestamps or you can put chapters because it's also called chapters as well. And the very first timestamp you're going to want to put is 00.00. .00. So the very first one, you need to make sure this is at the very start of the video. After this, you can put a space or a dash. Now, personally, I prefer to put a dash just because I think this personally looks a bit cleaner and tidier. But of course, you can just put a space if you want to. After this, you want to put something like introduction or intro, and then you can go ahead and start putting your timestamps. So after this, you would just put the next timestamp, so you can put like 00, zero then when you want the next timestamp to be, so for example, if I want it to be 30 seconds, then I would put 30 like so. And then you would just go ahead and put the name of this timestamp. So for example, I could put something like timestamp one. And then you would just go through and repeat the process. So I could do one minute 30, and then a dash, and then again, put my next timestamp there, and so on and so forth. But one thing to note, as I say, make sure you do have the intro or this first timestamp at zero zero, otherwise this is not going to work correctly. And once you've done all your changes, what you want to do is make sure you click the save button in the top right hand corner, which is going to save these changes. So now that's all set up ready to go. So when someone views your video, they'll be able to jump to the appropriate timestamps or chapters on your video. So I hit this up out today. And if it did, if, as I say, if you were considered dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel, I really do appreciate it. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next tutorial.